our tithe and offering. And the second one is an offering that we take to appreciate God for what he has done for us the previous month. Like I said, this month will be better in Jesus' name. This year will be far greater in Jesus' name. While you are getting ready your offering, I have an announcement that I quickly want to share with you. I'm sure you must have heard about it or been told about it. It is our annual Valentine ball. Can I hear amen to that? <laughs> Gentlemen, it is, it's coming up this coming Saturday, February 11. It's where we celebrate love and marriages that, that God has given unto us. Do you believe we should celebrate our love? We ought to celebrate it. Amen? And it's open for all those who are married, all those who are dating, all those who are in courtship. Come, let's celebrate together. Let's appreciate God's goodness and kindness of our marriages. Let's let the devil know that we have victory through God in our marriages in the name of Jesus. Will you be there? It's only $80. $80. And it covers child care. So if you have children, let us know the number that you, want, that you have that you want to come with. And we can make adequate arrangement for you. Did I say how many, how many you have? It, it's good to have a lot of children, amen? So God has blessed you. Let's, let's enjoy, let's celebrate God for your blessing. Praise the Lord. But is this coming Saturday, 7 p.m.? There is child care provided. It's $80. It's a very simple, elegant environment. We don't want you to come with, a lot, with dinner wear. That could be too cumbersome. And you might even be wanting to buy a new one if you don't have one already. So we've made it very easy. Come in jeans, denim nice shirt over a nice denim. Let's celebrate what God has done for us. Let's appreciate God for our marriages and appreciate God for love. Amen. And God will continue to increase you in the area of your marriage in Jesus' name. That said, do you have your tithes ready? I want you to stretch forth your hands before God and say, Lord, there is work to be done. Prosper the work of my hands. I want you to pray to God seriously because God is going to drop prosperity. He's going to prosper the work of your hands because there is work to be done for him. The point is, will you be faithful to bring what he has given unto you to the house of God? I want you to tell God sincerely from the bottom of your heart, Lord, I present my hands to you, O God. There is work to be done for you. Prosper the work of my hand, Lord. Increase me on every side, Lord, that I may be part of your work in Jesus of D.C. I know faithfully that God will increase you. I know faithful that God will prosper the work of your hands. And as you do so, as you bring them before God, the prosperity will increase upon your life, upon your homes, upon your children, over your careers, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you have your tithes ready with you to give, I want you to rise to your feet and continue in that same attitude of prayer. Lord God Almighty, I bring it before you, O God. Let this be the least tithe I will ever give, Lord God Almighty. This is the year that there is work to be done for you. Increase, Lord, increase me. Prosper the work of my hands, O oh God. Keep the devourer far away from my finances, Lord. Make a way for me. Bible says you are the one that gives seeds to the sower, bread to the eater, that they may know. Can you imagine? The seed that you will sow, God said he will give it to you. The ones that you will plant and you will eat, God said he will give it to you. I believe in the Lord God Almighty this year that there shall be a difference upon your finances. There shall be a mighty difference upon your finances because there is work to be done for God. If you have your offerings with you, I need you to rise to your feet too. I want you to pray, Lord, increase me. Prosper the work of my hands. There is work to be done for you. I want to be part of your work, O oh God. Give me seed that I will sow unto you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless your holy name. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, eternal rock of ages. Lord, we ask, O oh God, that as we present our tithes and offering before you, King of glory, we have just read your word that says you provide seed to the sower. Father, we want to partner with you in your work, King of glory. Increase the work of our hands, O oh God. Prosper the work of our hands, King of glory. Let us not know any like this, O God, in Jesus' name. Father, we release it unto your hands, O God, that in your own supernatural way, Lord God Almighty, the seeds will be available. The seeds will be abounding. Lord, we shall sow and be an extension of your hand in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we ask, O God, that when you will return, Lord God Almighty, remember us and our offerings, O God. Remember us and our tithes, O God. We worship you and we honor you forevermore. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.
Can we please be seated? This morning, we just want to offer up a worship, a worship song to God because He's holy, He's mighty, 